Datacore here is kind of like a follow-up to Bounce in the sense of it's another map that, in terms of player count, I can only really recommend it in Team Fortress Classic as a doubles map, so two team or four teams of two against each other. Uh, but unlike Bounce, which was just kind of, you know, fun, but, you know, still had a lot of things about it that didn't lend itself well to being played in Team Fortress Classic, Datacore here actually works extremely well, in my opinion. Uh, mostly due to the grenade system in TFC really lending itself well to this map's kind of really, uh, corner-based, like, or, like, you know, map style. As I'll show you, uh, uh, you know, actions are speak louder than words. Um... I almost want to say maybe it's better than it is in Half-Life, but, you know, that's that's a big stretch, so I'm not going to claim that necessarily. The first thing is that, you know, there's, uh, like, health chargers and, like, you know, armor chargers in this map, so, you know, you actually have places you'd want to defend. You know, if you're an engineer and you try to work with your, like, teammate, you know, there's actually some strategic points. Um, even though, like, I'd still recommend the heavy guy, weapons guy broadly on this map, like, you know, basically every map. Uh, I don't feel they're as undefeatable as they are in some other map, just because, as I've said, say you're coming around here, this corner, and you know there's someone, like, coming, like, you're coming this way, and you know there's people over there. Well, cook up a grenade, chuck it over there, bam, you got some, like, you know, damage done. And that's really the secret to a lot of this map, is that just the way that the map flows, cooking grenades and then, like, you know, knowing when to throw them to mess with people is extremely fun, and, like, some of the flow of the map because of that... It, like, it creates a sense of, like, you know, paranoia and, like, you know, cautious, like, you know, moving around because you don't know when someone's going to whip something in your face. Um, this is the only kind of crappy thing is that only certain classes can get up here. I mean, unless you want to take advantage of, like, you know, sniper flinging, where if you don't know, your teammate plays sniper, builds up a snipe all the way, and they send you flying from the sheer damage. You lose all your armor, but then you go over here. So it defeat the purpose, so never mind, that was entirely pointless. But yeah, there's just a lot more choke points here, and I feel more classes are actually useful in this map. Like, you know, Engineer is actually viable here. You know, Demo Mad can be really effective. I would say even the Spy could be good because you'd actually have some places to hide, probably. I mean, maybe Sniper would be good, but you know, Sniper had bounce, so we'll get like, you know, we'll, we'll let them have that one, and they could, some of the other classes can have this one. Oh uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Well, I suppose I gotta try out Demo Man after bringing that up, so let's do this. HA! Was that actually- yeah. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. You deceived those assholes. Oh, I got someone by complete accident. I mean, obviously, normally with the grenade thing I brought up, it would be a little less like, you know... Stilted like that because you know real people would be so awkward, but still you know that's basically what I mean If you can like you know time it just right, you know and say the heavy weapons guy you knew where they were there and you had the Like you know super grenade or whatever the demo man's great like you know special grenade is you know if you had that building up You know things would get really interesting Probably shouldn't be running right into a demo man like that spy that's not that's the opposite of backstabbing please Yeah, look at that! See what I mean? Complete accident! But, you know, the grenades here are just so damn effective. <laughs> ha! Oh, I need to play. I, I always forget how fun the Demo Man can be. I got your back. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna disguise yourself as? Wait, make up your mind. You know, we are... Yeah. Good job. Yeah, sorry, man. Eat it! Eat it! Eat them all! Oh. No, I gotta be honest completely. This might actually be more fun. Especially when you have a lot of, like, you know, explo like explosive-based glasses. This might actually be more of a riot than it is in ha Half-Life. Or than it is in Half-Life, which is rare. For, like, when you take these, like, Half-Life maps in TFC. Like, they're usually always fun. Don't get me wrong. Just for a quick, like, little, like, you know, burst of, like, you know, blowing the shit out of everyone. But, you know... As, like, something that actually, like, works fundamentally, this is just, like, completely rare to see. Especially when it comes to dealing with the heavy weapons, guys. Having the, like, the ability to actually use your grenades to deal with them around corners is a big boon. It's competitive balance, you see? I don't know how that soldier survived that, but okay. We'll double-team him. Yeah, come on, man. You did it, Ian! Good job! 
That's teamwork for you! Oh, why'd you have to go kill him, heavy weapons guy? Oh, fuck! Well, that was embarrassing. So yeah, Datacore, um, quite honestly, I think I would rather play it here than in Half-Life, even though in Half-Life it's quite a bit of fun. Um, especially if you could find some people that are, like, willing to understand kind of the merits of this map, and you, like, you know, maybe do stuff like Demo Man o only, or, like, you know, those kind of classes. You know, you could have a real freaking like, you know, riot playing this one. Highly recommended in this game.